Hey everybody, welcome back to the video side of Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. So I've been saying for a long time that Pop! OS from System76 is the best distro for gamers. I've written about it, I've tweeted about it, and I've talked a bit about it on podcasts here and there, but now that I'm doing this YouTube thing, I want to show you what I mean. So in my last video, I looked at uh, how to install Steam and enable Steam Proton and install Lutris and Wine on elementary OS. And to put my money where my mouth is regarding this whole Pop! OS claim, I'm going to show you the same exact thing on Pop! OS 1804. So just like before with elementary OS, the goal here is to get Steam installed, enable Proton so that we can play Windows games on Steam for Linux, and get Wine and Lutris installed. So, what I have here is a fresh installation of Pop! OS 1804, which just like elementary OS, is based on Ubuntu 1804 LTS. One good example is that they include kernel 5.3 instead of 5.0, and that gives you a lot more uh, hardware support right out of the box. And here's another difference, and this is something that Pop! OS has done for a while. When you go to download Pop! OS, you'll see that there are two different ISOs. One says Intel AMD and the other says NVIDIA. So you want to go for the Intel AMD ISO if you have an Intel or AMD CPU and you're using a Radeon graphics card. This is where Pop! OS has distinguished itself for a little while. They have a separate NVIDIA ISO and rather than installing that proprietary, more performant NVIDIA driver during the installation process, that driver is loaded up onto the ISO. So when you boot that live USB, it's already kicked in, and that just, that just removes a lot of headaches that you might have. So in this case, I am using the Falcon Northwest Talon again, so I've downloaded the uh, NVIDIA version of Pop! OS 1804. So if you just hit your super key and type about, the about page will come up and you'll see a little bit more information about your system here. And if you want to check the NVIDIA driver that you have installed, you can type NVIDIA. It should bring up NVIDIA X server settings here and you can see that we're using driver version 435.21. So the big question, what do you have to do to get Steam Lutris and Wine installed. Do you have to add repositories? Do you have to go to the command line? No. Here's what you do. Go to the pop shop. Type Steam. And install. Type in your password. And let's go ahead and install Lutris from the pop shop as well. That's done. Now, Let's search for wine. There we go, there's wine. And we're done. So maybe you're more of a command line person. And if you're not, I totally respect that. But let me show you how fast it is installing all three of these packages in the command line. So hit super T and simply type sudo apt install steam Lutris wine dash stable. And now I've already got this installed, of course, so uh, I just wanted to show you how easy that is. It's just one line of commands, and you've got all three of those packages installed, and you are ready to game. Now, Steam on Linux also comes with something called Proton that's built in. You don't have to do anything to install it, and this enables you to play thousands of Windows only games on Steam for Linux. This is what you do to enable it. Go into settings, go all the way down here to the bottom and click Steam Play. And click Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Now, uh, obviously not every game that you can play on the Steam client on Windows will work here, but let me show you a fantastic 
resource. I mentioned this in the elementary OS video, and I'm just going to briefly touch on it here because it really is invaluable. It's called ProtonDB, and this is a fantastic resource. You can see, uh, so let's type in, for example, Skyrim. So you can check a game from your library or check a game before you buy it and see how it's running via Steam Proton. And a lot of times you'll also get some tips here from other users who have given their, uh, their compatibility reports. And one more tip, you can also link up your Steam account to ProtonDB, which is a great thing to do. So once you log in, you can browse your own library and check out the compatibility ratings on Linux with a number of filters. So for example, you can look through ProtonDB rating. And okay, so these are all the games that are going to work flawlessly. Those are the ones rated platinum. Gold and silver are also probably going to work, but maybe with a few hiccups here and there. Before I go, I want to give you a suggestion for another gaming app that is also available in the Pop! OS shop, and that's called Game Hub. And I recently heard about this, uh, well, it was about six months ago, but this is a brilliant sort of all-in-one game launcher. And you can connect your Steam account, your Good Old Games account, your Humble Store account, and itch.io. You, uh, you can drag in custom game art. You can configure all these tweaks. And uh, it's, it's really a brilliant, streamlined, just beautiful piece of software. We have Steam installed. And boom, well, I guess that's ready because <laughs> I've already logged in and it read the, uh, the, the Steam ID. So let's add good old games as well. Let's do my Humble Store account, and we're good to go. I don't have an itch.io account yet. And if we click this icon here, you will see your entire game collection. Isn't this nice? Let's see what I've got on good old games. Oh, look at these just beautiful classics. Uh, let's see. Let's go for, let's install Neverwinter Nights Diamond. So we just right click it and hit install. And you can choose which installer you want. So we're gonna hit English and gonna go ahead and use Wine and boom, that's on its way. So let's see what we can do with each game. So this is my Steam library and we can hit properties and look at this, you can, uh, you can point it to a URL if you want some custom uh, game art, or you can point it to a local file. You can also add some tags, and uh, I, I like, <laughs> I'm going to be using this one a lot, Backlog, games that I will never finish in my entire life like No Man's Sky. So yeah, that's how to get your game on with Pop! OS 1804. Same rules apply if you're using Pop! OS 1910. All right, I'm going to get out of here. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of future videos. I'm doing a lot more of them these days, and I hope you uh, find some value in that. And I want to let you know I love all of your suggestions, your comments, and your feedback. So keep them coming. Until the next video, take care and take care of each other. Bye.